And then coming back to our box. What are the critical issues of who collects letters from these boxes? We need to understand that person who collects letters because I'm working on a letter box and we found out that it is the lowest division clerk. He is the lowest division in the whole post office circle and they go to collect the letters and they are very very you know uh, ingenious in finding out ways when the boxes are bad, when the you know locks don't open and we will come down to those. Are you able to see why are the boxes different? Each country has a different box, a different requirement. Can you also check up the, uh, the level of development in the country by the type of box they have? Could be. Yeah, look at each of them. Some of them are pedestal, some of them on the floor, some of them are on legs, some of them have a single pedestal, some of them have double pedestal. Look at the last one, Hungary, they have the cast iron legs. Look at the other countries, Indonesia, then you know Italy, some of them are all you know uniform, one single monolith. And they could be oh, look at Nepal, isn't it interesting? Concrete. Quite nice. Each of them is very good. Let them be old or new because of the issue of their requirements, their current conditions, and the type of you know uh, uh, vision the particular you know uh, aspects have. Japan, that's not the right slide. I have the new box from Japan, maybe old, but they're old and new, all put together. Spain, a round box still. This Spain and Europe, you saw most of them are similar to UK. Their boxes are very, like you know very similar that round pillar post box so understanding all this also give us a lot of insights on what the country needs so post boxes for the country it also reflects your development it also reflects whatever materials you're using it also reflects your identity because india post is part of the ministry so you have a bigger mandate so we started with saying maintenance free post box and now where have we reached we reached the level of country saying that the identity of the country is at stake if you design a bad box but it's important for us to understand the total gamut of the context from the users to the uh, to the level of uh, the, the the government to the level of the offices to the level of people collecting the letters so all those become our context now look at the product specific insights which i'll show you one by one if you have a flat top water will stay there and you will be having rusting so it's, it's rusting it leaks inside and the tags are all rusted look at the other aspects of the typical letter box you know, the life is not even more than three years. And when you paint some box like this again, you paint on top of the rust. So actually the rusting is happening inside and leakages happen. And even the installation processes are very, very tough. So your installation costs are very high. The painting costs and the maintenance is very, very costly. So that also has very important bearing. And water ingress. Look at this very, you know, uh, uh, ingenious uh, postman. He actually put a gunny bag inside so that the letters don't get wet. Because there's you know water on the floor. Look at the other person where there's been a small hole over there, so the water goes and stays there rather than stay in the box. So these are all the conditions of the post boxes. You'll have to ask me, did you solve all this? You'll have to be very smart now. You please keep observing all the problems, and when we show you the ideas and the concepts, you people have to become critic and tell, ask me, is that solved? Okay? So that's the challenge. And look at the manufacturing defects. Can you see that edge which is open on the side? So how do you manufacture? What are the details which you use for manufacture? So manufacturing plays a very vital role. So from each of these insights, we're getting new you know, aspects. Look at this design. They have a sheet on the top which is weak. So it bends. And that sheet, you know what it's supposed to say? Anybody can guess? What's that sheet on the top which is bent is supposed to say? Direction to the post office. And then they got themselves so confused that their post boxes came so many locations that finally that has been eliminated now. On the post box, you don't put direction of post box anymore. And look at this again. Because the bottom is getting wet, the postman put a lot of sticks and wood so that when the letter falls, it falls on those sticks so that you don't get, the letters don't get wet. And look at the other problem. People putting cigarettes and stones inside. How do you prevent that? You can prevent all this. This is another big challenge. You have grass growing all around the post box. You have buildings coming up next to your post box. So what do you do in these cases? We are trying to make our box more and more better because we are studying all these aspects. 
then look at this wall which has come next to the post box. So what should I do with the post box and there's a wall like that next to it. I need to replace it and to put in a new location in a corner which is better. But now this can't be done because in this case the post box is actually embedded 3 feet into the soil. I'll show you that design problem, installation issues. Look at that cage. All the cage is inside the soil. It's also again a formula for rusting. You put some mild steel inside soil, humidity and you know it can rust uh, severely. Here you see people put a lot of you know posters on your boxes. How can you prevent that on your box? And what can you learn? There should be no projections because this uh, electrical junction box is a projection which hurts people when they are walking on the street corners. So a lot of these interesting things you see from other products can teach you what to do with your product.